Ladies and gents, welcome back. I hope you're well. There's been a bit of a, uh, a life change recently. Me and Hannah have moved off to northern Sweden, to Lulia, where we're going to spend the foreseeable future as Hannah's job has taken us into Sweden. So from now on, we're going to have Swedish hikes and it's going to be amazing. There are some beautiful spots around this area. I'll do a little introduction to Lulia later, but for now we're going to start the Swedish adventures with just a little, little, uh, little relaxed morning hike on the Hember Hemberg Sledden Trail. Anyone watching that says Swedish, I do apologize if I destroy your language, but I will be learning Swedish along the way, so it should get better. But for now, there's plenty of mosquitoes, so we're gonna get moving, take some pictures, and just enjoy a good old hike, and come along for the adventure. Oh, if I get on the green. Oh, it's wonderful with the sun flare and the trees on the top as well. And the landscape work, not as good. And I tell you what, just wish I had someone here to shoot. Always nice to add in a little human element, but I haven't got a second tripod, so that will have to, have to just be a nice picture for now. So this trail is uh, in the village of Ersnes. Again, apologies for my Swedish. It's about uh, 20 kilometers outside of Ludia, so 20, 25 minute drive. And gorgeous day like this, it is wonderful to be out here. Not too many mosquitoes, which is nice. The trail seems to be very well marked. There's three routes, if I'm correct. There's three kilometer, four kilometer, and a six kilometer. So far, seems to be very well signposted. And I think I'm coming up on the change where I go for the long six kilometer hike, because that's what I'm going to be doing today. But yeah, as you can see, it doesn't get much better. Not much to take pictures of, not much landscape, not much views going on, but hopefully that will improve as we go forth. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But yes, as I said, very well signposted three kilometer hike, four and six, and filling our starting card for Herm Hemberg Sledden. We'll participate in a lottery. <coughs> don't know what the lottery, I don't know what the lottery gets me, but cool. You never know, could actually get a little bit lucky. Would be quite nice. I had my uh, 90 mil macro for this. I just saw some bees around here. I don't want to disturb you guys, but I do want to try and get a really cool picture of you. Lose the dreams of you and me. Sky high, busy life, I want to leave. Nicely signposted. Love it. wonderful. This is the difference I find with Sweden and Finland so far. When you're amongst, when you're in the forest of Finland, you don't get to see many views until you go up the fells. Sweden, they still seem to have more of a slightly hilly um, area. Granted, this is close to the coast, so this is not really even remotely called a hill. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get to that up in Karuna and proper Swedish Lapland later. But onwards for now. 
This is wonderful. Wow, this is beautiful. Love the long grass, albeit <laughs> this literally screams mosquito land. But this is gorgeous. So come to another little marked spot. There's the Bark Bank Bankin. Sorry, Swedish language, I do apologize. Oh, but this is this is beautiful. Something in Swedish there. Yeah, can't read that just yet. So kind of halfway now. Well, let's keep cracking because we're getting a bit warm and the mozzies are coming out. It really is wonderful to see that they have the, the tree beard still up here. So it's we, missed, we are still getting beautiful, fresh air. Maybe not as much as Lapland. Oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Maybe not much as Levy, because we are a little bit further up north. But enough to say they get it. It is a wonderful landscape as well here yeah, because you're going through started off really thick well not really thick but normal Scandinavian forest then we've come up over some rocks and now it's open marsh field of which I don't want to walk in too much because I will leave with very wet feet but this is beautiful Bit of a dull landscape. Not dull, but just missing an element. But I think you get the idea. But it's wonderfully peaceful out here. Right, onwards. And as you can see, like I said, the scenery has just changed in an instant, going from the flat open marsh to crazy rocky very sparse broken forest beautiful absolutely gorgeous get a bit of a higher view up here it looks wonderful it looks like a quarry over in the distance but such a good view from the top here and there seems to be some little river system over there. Or oh, I'd love to get a kayak down that or a canoe. Yeah, me and Hannah actually did some kayaking the first weekend that we were here. A bit choppy and cold. It was a bit of a gray day, but it's still, it was fantastic. And that river looked just wonderful. All the little islands dotted in between it. There's definitely gonna be some kayaking canoe adventures on this channel down the road with Swedish Lapland. This, because this is, Fantastic an area. And this is point number 19, so somehow I think I missed a few, but still technically on trail. 
That's number 19. Snow scooter cabin. Oh, so it must be cabin four when the winter comes and they get the skidoos out. Oh, but this would be cool in the winter. This would be wonderful. Proper little campfire spot. Very dilapidated cabin. I wouldn't say no to seeing this covered in snow and definitely the surrounding forest because this is gorgeous up here. Albeit kind of scared to walk anywhere where there are any nails pointing up. Yeah, table and chairs inside, but we've one hell of a beautiful view. Bit of a wind farm somewhere over there in the distance. Yeah, not too bad. But let's finish this trail since this is 19. Crazy landscape. Beautiful. Must be classed as a mountain bike trail as well because this would be fantastic. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Might have to be coming back to do this one. And that marks the end of the hike. I hope you've enjoyed this trail today. I certainly have done. The links for the trail will be in the description below and I will catch you in the next one.